When the BWF World Rankings were frozen back in 2020, Hurley Tan and Tina Murilitaran were 39th. As soon as they were given the green light to compete, the Malaysian duo produced two quarter-final results in Thailand, followed by their career's first title victory at the Swiss Open. And there it is. Amazing performance in the final. From uh, these two young Malaysians. I think for the both of us, it was a good achievement to reach our two quarterfinals because after the pandemic, that was considered one of our first tournaments. So to play well and reach the both quarterfinals, we are really excited and we are really happy about our performance. Mm, 呃，当时真的是没有没有想到，啊，因为我们在四强的时候会打到我们的senior四姐，所以就真的是没有想很多，就只想要去拼，把每一场拼回来，所以这个冠军对我们来讲真的是一个惊喜。I think like what Pearlie said, it, we didn't expect the win at the Swiss Open, but the most important thing that we uh, overcome was because we really did a lot of communication with each other and the support we gave each other was really there and then I think that's the main key for our success in the tournament. Tan and Marilla Turan were soon on the radar of the world's best but failed their first real test at the world's mixed team championships with four losses. Mm, I think the main thing was our fitness and endurance. It really dropped uh, and then it really affected in most of our games. Because in women's doubles, I think minimum also you have to at least uh, stay on court for at least an hour. So I think that really affected us a lot. And we also learned that we really need to improve on this part of our game, yeah. With the sudden and early retirement of their seniors, 22-year-old Tan and 24-year-old Murilitaran were suddenly promoted to Malaysia's number one, a status this young pair embrace. I think for me, I will turn these things into motivation. Because whether I am the first one in the country, or the second one, the goal is to get a good result. So it's a normal thing for me. I think the pressure is always there. It's just how you handle the pressure in court and also outside court. So I think we just hope to give our best in every game and just play our best. Yeah. While acknowledging they still have a long way to go, Tan and Murilitaran, who recently broke into the top 10 and reached their maiden Super 500 semi-final in Bangkok, believe they have what it takes to go further. I think uh, most important is the court coverage, just to support each other in court and also be more aggressive and you have to also be sustainable in court because like I said, women's double is a long match. So if you're able to sustain in court for long with aggressive play, yeah, that would be good.